A terror flyer is a simple and effective way to advertise local business services or events. It's also super quick and easy to create your own flyer design using Affinity Publisher. Hi, I'm Grace, and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a tear off flyer in Affinity Publisher. And I'll also include a free downloadable template for both Publisher and Adobe InDesign as well. So as well as access to Affinity Publisher, we'll also be dipping into Affinity Photo to remove the background from our chosen photo. You'll also need to download a few fonts and images to use on your flyer design, and you can find the links for these in the details below the video. Okay, so let's get started. So first up, open Affinity Publisher and go to File and New. Select Print from the options along the top of the window and then set the page width to 8.5 inches and the page height to 11 inches. Deselect Facing Pages under the Pages section. From the margins option, set a margin width of 0.5 inches for all sides of the page, except the bottom, which you can set to 2.75 inches. Add a bleed width of 0.25 inches. Great. And then click Create. So double click on page one in the Pages panel just to go to the main page of your document and not the master. Then go to the Layers panel and click on the Add Layer button at the bottom right of the panel and name this layer as background. Click on the add layer button again, name the second layer text behind, and then repeat to create two more layers, first images, and then finally at the top of the pile, text in front. Select all the layers except background and lock them by clicking the padlock icon at the top right. Okay, cool. Now go to the swatches panel and choose Add Global Colour from the drop down menu at the top right corner. Name the swatch Off White and set the levels below to Cyan 3, Magenta 1, Yellow 4, and Key or Black to 0. Then click Add. And you're going to repeat this process to create five more CMYK swatches. So the first is Dark Yellow, which is Cyan 4, Magenta 44, Yellow 90, and Key 0. Medium yellow is going to be cyan 0, magenta 35, yellow 81, and key 0. The next one up is pale yellow, and this is going to be cyan 0, magenta 28, yellow 72, and key 0. Create a swatch called purple, and this is going to be cyan 76, magenta 78, yellow 0, and key 0. And then finally, we want a swatch that's going to be called Dark Purple. And this is going to be Cyan 92, Magenta 100, Yellow 7 and Key 2. OK, so once you have your palette of swatches set up and ready to use, we can get started with the more creative aspects of our flyer design. Working on the background layer, select the rectangle tool from the tools panel and drag across the whole of the page, extending the edges up to the bleed. From the swatches panel, set the fill colour to medium yellow. Then lock the background layer and unlock the layer above, which is called text behind. Select the frame text tool and drag across the left side of the page to create a small text frame. So here you can type in the description text. So for example, Ellie's friendly dog walking service. And from the character and paragraph panels, you can set the font to lumber, all caps, and for the paragraph panel, set this to align center. And from the swatches panel, you can set the font color to off-white and highlight certain key bits of information in dark purple if you want to. So then you can add more text below the heading, such as 30% off your first walk with the code below, set in lumber, all caps again, a line centre and an off-white font colour. So 
Okay, cool. So next up, switch to the pen tool and holding shift while you do it, click twice to create a straight vertical line just below that bottom text frame. From the swatches panel, set the stroke color of this line to off white. From the stroke panel, set the width of the line to 2.5 points. And from the end drop down menu, choose simple to apply an arrowhead to the stroke. And to the right of the end arrow option, increase the percentage to about 225% to enlarge the arrowhead. So next, what you can do is you can open up the set of EPS animal icons in vector programs such as Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape. And what you want to find in these is the pore icon. And you can either use this as an outlined icon or you can fill the pore with a solid color as I've done here. So once you've prepped that pore icon in the vector program, you can edit copy the icon directly in that vector program and then come back to publish it and still working on the text behind layer, edit paste that icon directly onto the page. You can adjust the color of the icon to pale yellow and position it towards the top right of the layout. Okay, so you can paste more pore icons, grouping them across the page to create a sort of trail effect and set the color of some of these to pale yellow and others to dark yellow to contrast against the background. Switch to the pen tool and use this to draw a loose wavy line across the top left corner of the page. To create curves, hold the mouse down while you click and you can tidy up the curve after using the node tool to select individual anchor points. Make sure the line has no colour from the swatches panel and then choose the artistic text tool from the tools panel. Hover over the far left edge of the line and click. And by doing that, you can transform this line into a text path, which is really cool. So here you can type in some intro text, such as, did someone say? Highlight the text and set the font to Southern with an off-white font color. Okay, so switch to the frame text tool and create a larger text frame below the curve line for a main title such as walkies. Rotate the frame slightly anti-clockwise and set the font of this to seven again and the font color this time to dark purple. Now you can make the text of script fonts appear a bit jauntier by highlighting individual letters and adjusting the baseline value from the positioning and transform options in the character panel. For this design, I've also added a question mark in a separate text frame at a different rotation angle. So before we can use the photo that we've chosen for our tear off fly design, we'll need to remove the background so we can see the yellow and the poor icons and the text in the background of the photo. So for that, we're going to need to dip into Affinity Photo. So let's do it. So open your chosen photo in Affinity Photo before duplicating and switching off the visibility of the background layer. Head up to select and select sampled color and click anywhere on the white background. So in the select sampled color window, adjust the tolerance slider just a little bit until all the background color is selected and then click apply. And then you can just hit delete on your keyboard to remove that selection and remove the background. And then you can go up to file, save and save the file as an AF photo file. Back in Affinity Publisher, use the picture frame rectangle tool to create an image frame on the images layer towards the right side of the page above the bottom margin. Go to file and place, choose the edited photo and open it. Double click inside the frame to select the image and scale it if you need to. Okay, that's looking great. So now it's time to create the tear off section at the bottom of our flyer. So working on the images layer, use the rectangle tool to create a shape across the bottom margin area and set the fill color of this to dark purple. 
You can use guides pulled out from the left-hand ruler to divide up the page into sections. If you can't see your rulers, go up to the view menu and make sure that show rulers is checked. So using the guides, you can divide the width of the page, which is 8.5 inches into however many sections you want. And these are gonna form the tear off parts of your flyer. So here I'm going to create five sections and I'm gonna use my calculator because I'm not naturally very good at maths to work out how I'm gonna split 8.5 inches into five equal sections. So when I work that out, I drag out a guide from the left-hand ruler and just mark that section. Okay, so when you've marked your sections with guides, you can use the pen tool to create a vertical line over the first guide and set the stroke color of this to medium yellow. From the stroke panel, set the style of the stroke to dash line style. Keep the width to 2.5 points and adjust the dash options at the bottom of the panel to adjust the look of the dash line until you're happy with the result. And then you can copy and paste this line moving each copy over a guide to create a row of tear off tabs. Okay, so use the frame text tool to create a text frame for the details on the tear off tab, such as contact details, for example. So you can set the font of this to lumber and vary the font colour between off-white and pale yellow to contrast against that dark purple background. On the text frame, right click, transform, rotate left, and then position the text frame centrally on the first tab. And when you're happy, you can copy and paste this text frame, positioning each pasted frame in its own tab. Okay, awesome. So when you finish working on your flyer, it's time to export your artwork as a PDF, ready for sending off to print. Or you can simply export your PDF and print it at home if you prefer. So make sure to file and save your work and then go to file and export. In the window that opens, choose PDF from the icon options at the top and select PDF Press Ready from the preset menu. Make sure the raster DPI is set to 300 and that also the include bleed box is checked. That's really important. Then click export. Name your file and select a folder to save it into and then hit save. You can send the exported PDF straight off to the printers. Awesome work. So your Terra Flyer template is finished. Great job. In this tutorial, you've picked up a wide range of skills and techniques for how to create a flyer in Affinity Publisher. From setting up a blank Terra Flyer template to creating color swatches, placing images and formatting typography to create a stylish and contemporary design. If you want to compare your design with my own, make sure to download the completed Terra Flyer template. It's also available as an InDesign flyer template as well. So my name's Grace and thanks again for watching this Envato Tuts Plus video tutorial.